Okay, asymptotes, let's get straight into asymptotes and what they are and how we find them. Here's, a, here's the most common curve that we see that's got asymptotes, and if you draw a graph of this thing, what you'll notice is you'll notice that it doesn't touch the axes. You'll notice it curves like this, and it heads towards the axes, and never quite gets there, and it does exactly the same in the quadrant here. Never quite hits the axes, and the question is why? This curve that we're looking at here has two asymptotes. This axis there, which it never quite gets to, that's a vertical asymptote, and this axis here, which it never quite gets to, that's a horizontal asymptote. And to ask ourselves why this happens, then we consider two things. A vertical asymptote, these are often the easier ones, we'll be looking at things that are fractional, rational, I'll use 1 over x in this case, a fractional expression, rational expression, and we are looking for a denominator equal to 0. If we see the denominator equal to 0, we will see at that point a vertical asymptote. And if we've got 1 over x, then the denominator equals 0 when x equals 0. If we had, for example, 1 over x plus 2, then we would see at x equals minus 2 an asymptote. It doesn't matter what's on top of the, the fraction, that's not going to have any effect whatsoever. So we could have 5x, 3x, whatever on the top, but it's that denominator equal to 0 that creates a vertical asymptote. A horizontal asymptote is created when, or rather is found, when we consider very large values. So if you travel along the x-axis either direction, then what you will find is that quite possibly the curve starts to head towards a value without ever getting there. That's the idea of an asymptote. So 1 over x, now for very large values, just start imagining some very large values. 1 over very large values. Now as these values get larger and larger and larger, what you will notice is that 1 over a large value starts heading towards the value 0. Very, very small numbers, increasingly small, and that's why we see the curve heading towards the axes, heading towards a value of 0. Now we're going to have a look at an example which we're going to try and sketch the curve of, and we're going to use these two ideas of very large values for horizontal asymptotes, denominators 0 for vertical asymptotes, and see how we get on. Here's our, here's our problem. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. That's the problem. So we've got the equation x minus 2 divided x plus 3, and that's what we are going to try and deal with. Let me just write it here, x minus 2 over x plus 3. And first of all, I will deal with a vertical asymptote. That's the slightly easier one. And remember, that happens when we see denominator equal to 0. And if that happens, and it can happen once, twice, then we will see a asymptote. So x minus 2 over x plus 3. Keep your eye on the denominator. Ask yourself when it equals to 0, and you will come up with the answer very quickly. That a vertical asymptote at x equals minus 3. Denominator 0, vertical asymptote. Horizontal. Now, horizontal asymptotes, we said, happen as we consider very large values of x. So we head along the axes in either direction, increasingly big values. And if we have y equals x minus 2 over x plus 3, and it's a good, a good, money is quite a nice way to think about this. If you had if you had lots and lots and lots of money, then you subtract 2, and to be honest, you wouldn't, um, you wouldn't be bothered too much. If you had lots and lots of money, you subtract 2, then more or less you'd have the same. 
So 1 billion, for example, subtract 2, very little change. Uh, the same with x plus 3. If you add 3 to a very, very large number, it really doesn't make an awful lot of difference. So the bigger x becomes, then x minus 2, x plus 3 become very, very similar. And in the end, for very, very large values, positive or negative, this thing starts to look like 1. In other words, y equals 1 will be our horizontal asymptote. And so we've got our vertical and our horizontal asymptote, and I'm just going to draw a quick picture of this so that we get some idea of what we're looking at. Here's my graphing calculator. And let me put this on the screen. So we've got y equals x minus 2 divided by x uh, plus 3, I believe, nearly forgot. Um, let's zoom out a little bit from this. And there we go, that's our, that's our curve. In fact, I'm going to zoom back in a little bit. And we see our two asymptotes. And our two asymptotes, let's put these on the screen as well. One of them was at x equals minus 3. And there we see it. You see the blue line heading towards the asymptote, but not quite getting there. And the other asymptote, let me put that on, was at y equal to 1. And there you see purple line heading towards, but not quite getting there. So we have our asymptotes.